It's 5 a.m. on an April morning as the Ohio River flows past the Steinkamp's farm in Evansville. Today we're gonna we're gonna try to get all the lower bottoms done, long road, and ice for hole. Farmers like the Steinkamp family have always been a fixture in Indiana. We have a, a hundred year farm here and my great grandpa bought the farm and then uh, his dad took over the farm from him and my dad and his older brother took over the farm. As they grew old to retire, my cousin Tim and I partnered together and took over the farm from our parents. And hopefully there'll be somebody in our family that's interested in, in carrying on the tradition past that. I think people are sometimes shocked that we actually like live on a farm. Yeah, people think it's not a real farm because we don't have animals, but it's still a farm. I'm, I'm it's just I a know. different type of farm. Right. The corn and beans we grow are used in all different kinds of products and stuff. Our soybeans from our farm go all kinds of places. They might go to the processor to be turned into meal and oil, and the, and the oil goes into the industry, and you may be using it for a salad oil. Or the meal part of the soybean might go into a hog ration or, or chickens might be eating it. So the eggs you eat may come from a soybean on my farm. Our other product that we grow on our farm is white corn. And the white corn is especially food grade corn. For soybean farmers, it's planting season. Today we're gonna be heading out to the field to plant soybeans. And we've got an international planter and it can plant 250 to 300 acres on a good day in some large sized fields. The great thing about planting season in our farm is that you plant the seed in the ground today and somewhere five to seven days later you're going to see that first leaf come out of the ground because you never know for sure that that seed's gonna make it through the ground. And then when that leaf or the bean, the back of the bean pushes through the soil, you know that you've, you've got a stand. And then once you have the stand, you know that you're on your way to achieving a successful harvest. Joe obviously feels very passionate about the land and about farming. That's always been his true love. It's just in his blood. I, th I think that's how farmers are. It's, it's in your blood or it's not. And for Joe, it's definitely in his blood. He loves it. While farming has always centered around families, it has also been quick to adopt new technologies. Today's farmers are living in a true high-tech world. One tool that's making a difference is GPS. Imagine if your car's GPS also steered it. Well, this GPS auto-steers the tractor and helps farmers plant more accurately. If my grandpa was alive today, he would be so impressed about the amount that we could get done in one day that would take him a whole spring to do. And GPS has other advantages too. He always tells us we're not allowed to text, text and, drive. and drive. It's like number one rule, no texting and driving. Once I get the speed set and the combine tried, I can quick pull up my cell phone, send my daughter a text, one that might be in college, and just wish her a good day and a reminder to keep studying. No. But, but he has auto steer. Right. He'll text us and be like, I'm texting while harvesting or whatever. And He's like, but it's okay because I have auto steer. Even the combine will beep at me when I'm getting to the end of the field to remind me that I should be paying attention to what I'm doing. In addition to GPS, farmers take advantage of many commonly used technologies to help them plan their work days. Seems like we use our smartphones a lot. I pull up my smartphone, look at it, look at the weather radar to find out if it's gonna rain. For farmers, cutting down on chemicals has two big benefits. It saves money, keeping the price of food low. It also ensures that food from American farms is safe to eat. We use a rate of a four ounces per acre. An acre is roughly the size of a football field. And this is how much four ounces looks like. We mix this with water, maybe and we'll spread 10 gallon of water across the whole acre. And obviously you always want to make sure that the land is available for the next farming season and for generations to come. So he has been very careful about making sure that they use the land wisely. We're trying to figure out what we can plant on our farm that's going to be the best use of our soils to produce that safe food that we all, that we all count on each day when we go to the grocery store and buy it. The Steinkamps, like many farm families, are active in their community. We work really hard around here, but we sure do know how to have fun on occasion. The West Side Nut Club Fall Festival is a great place because as they're walking up and down the street, it's a complete melting pot. 
It's great to go with your family to the street because there's 139 different food booths you can stop at. I hope that my kids and, and, my, and my cousin's kids that I farm with get the opportunity to do some of the great things that we've got to do. You know, our goal for farming is, is one, to keep farming. We, we've got this great land out here that we're using to produce crops for ourselves and for our neighbors. And, and we'd like to do it till we get old and then we'd like to pass it on to our kids and let them have the opportunity to have the good life that we've had. When I own this farm, I want to like paint all the tractors and stuff like fun colors. <laughs> like what color? Like purple and like <laughs> blues and greens. 